Hi, my name is Joe, and this is my story. I have spent exactly one year off of college campuses. I'm a, I'm a faculty brat. I grew up on the Denison University in Granville, Ohio. My father was an English professor. He would have a, what he called the writing group, and I'd see students in my living room reading their fiction and critiquing it back and forth. It really never occurred to me to do anything but be a professor. I remember being a little kid in pajamas coming in and kissing my father goodnight. And I remember being 26, 25, 26, and in grad school myself and seeing my father's students there. I was an undergraduate at the University of Michigan. The thing that really made me fall in love with, with teaching at that point was I felt like I had something to say to the average student. And I wanted in a very short while to say, hey, here's, here's what you're doing well. Here's the next step as a writer that you can take. Because I discovered this is what I really loved. I loved your overall argument. And as I say, I think I, think I really liked what you did with one of the sections. You're the first person to do this, by the way. Yeah. And anyone who asks me, what does it mean to be a teacher? My first bit of advice is learn how to listen to your students. Learn how to hear them. The other one was OK and close. The other one wasn't so on. But it was, it was all, you had a purpose for each read. I was really, I was really pleased. And so I wound up here and exhilarated at, at the chance to be here, as I say, where I think the, in many ways, a mantra of this place is wherever you are, we're going to help you get to the next step. If you're going to get into med school, we're going to make sure you get into an even better med school. If you're going to write a lot, we're going to try and get you published. It's my signature course, Creative Nonfiction Writing. How do you write about your own experiences? This particular student I'm thinking of, she just set out to write. She was writing about an object, which was the first assignment of the class. And over a period of two or three weeks, I watched her take something that was OK and make it good, good and make it often very good, and really polished into something that was absolutely memorable, absolutely staggering. I, I love my department. I think it's a terrific group of people. I find my colleagues impressive. I can't believe how lucky I am to be here. Every time I run into a student, I think there, there's no limit to what you can do. So I think in terms of the honors program, that, that's a big part of how we do that. It's based on a series of individual tutorials, uh, moving into a period of senior research that you do with faculty mentors. You as a student really get to help invent the course that you're going to take. And that leads to a variety of accomplishments very early in your college career. We stay, God willing, we stay a long time in a place like this. And the students come and go. They're a part of our lives in ways that, you know, that they may not even realize.